Hey everybody, All the Things here, and today we got another book review. We're going to talk about The Business of the 21st Century by Robert T. Kiyosaki. And if you haven't seen his face before, there it is. This book, in a nutshell, is about a concept called network marketing. But before I get into that, a little bit about the author. In case you didn't know, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, he is the author of a really famous book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which I will do a review on later. But for now, we're talking about this book. And uh, inside of this book, uh, Robert goes into this concept of network marketing and the benefits of it. Now, before we get too much into this, this book is not trying to get you to join a particular company. This book, The Business of the 21st Century, is explaining the concept of network marketing and trying to get a good idea of what it is before you jump into the business of network marketing. Uh, I think one of the important things to, to say here is that the concept of network marketing in this book is different than other concepts that you may have heard like multi-level marketing or a pyramid scheme or a Ponzi scheme. Those are a certain type of thing that do exist, but this book I don't think is talking about that in theory. It's not talking about the practice of go to this place, go to this seminar, and you'll become rich very quickly. It's talking about the concept of using networking as a business. The concept of talking to people, gaining friends that can help you grow yourself and get yourself connected with other people, and using a network of actual people to create momentum, to create opportunities, and maybe even create products, ultimately to sell something. But... This book is not about selling gold or selling makeup products or something like that. It could turn out to be that, but it's about the concept behind the network that you can create to do these kind of things and the power behind creating a network. It also talks a little bit about wealth and financial independence, but these things are kind of tied into the concept of network marketing from the perspective of this book. Uh, this book is like 115 pages, and I would say that for, I don't know, an hour or two it took me to read, it has a lot of interesting concepts, and it reiterates a lot of things that I've heard before in ways that, uh, or organizations that I think are, are beneficial. So, um, if you have a minute, I would say read this. It, it doesn't tell you to join a cult or anything like that. Um, it just gives you ideas on, uh, what net network marketing is, what the mindset behind it is, and how it differentiates from some other business structures. Lastly, uh, one of the things this book emphasizes is the mentality of certain classes of people. And by classes, um, maybe that's a bad word, but there's different groups of people. And um, in this book, it has four main groups of people. There are employees, self-employed people, uh, business owners and investors and uh, business owners are more like people who own like really big businesses like more than 500 people and the different mindsets that go along with each category of person um, and how it's very hard to become a large business owner or an investor when you have the mindset of somebody who's an employee or the mindset of somebody who's self-employed uh, and so I think that was a good way to juxtapose like different mentalities and how they can work against you if you're trying to do something different um, and some of the consequences of trying to change your mentality because you have to give up some things to get new things. If you want to go somewhere you've never been, you have to do something you've never done. And this book um, says that in a way that, that I think makes a lot of sense. So the book is The Business of the 21st Century by Robert Kiyosaki. And uh, it's 115 pages. And it even has a couple of pictures in it. Let me see if I can find one. Oh. Bam. You know, I was talking about those categories right there. Employee, self-employed, big business, and investor. Bam, right there. Um, but I think it's an interesting read, and uh, it's not a, an expensive book. It is not a long book, and it's not a complicated book. It just tells you some stuff in a basically unbiased, no sugar-coated way. I think it's unbiased as far as it can be. But uh, yeah, I'd say this is a decent read. And uh, I would check it out. If you like this video and you want to see more, please like, comment, or subscribe and tell me what you thought. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Did you read this book? I'm always looking for people to talk about the books I read. So if you read the same book, let me know. We can have a conversation. 
Also, if you have any book recommendations for me, shoot them my way, and uh, I'll read them, give them a review, and then maybe we can have a conversation about that. But uh, yeah, this is all the things. Once again, the book is The Business of the 21st Century, and uh, hope you guys have a good one.